What's up guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Torin and today we are doing a how-to video. As you can see, the river is completely blown out and about as high as a draft's ass. So we are gonna do a how-to video and today I'm gonna be talking about how I rig up the most deadly nymph rig I know. I also wanna give a huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. Uh, we just recently broke a thousand subscribers so super pumped about that and a lot more to come. So let's get into it. All right, so I brought my six weight rod and reel here today. Now I'm gonna be talking about how to rig up the nymph rig. Now, anytime I go to the river, I always start nymphing. This is how I prospect. This is basically uh, how I try to find where the fish are holding before I move on to something more fun like streamer fishing or maybe dry fly fishing. So with that being said, in Alberta, you're allowed to have up to three hooks per line. And I'm gonna take full advantage of that just because uh, basically the more options you give these fish the more chances you are to hook up so what we're gonna do is I have a six weight rod here six weight reel six weight line everything six weight instead of tying on a tapered leader we are gonna use mono now tapered leaders although if that's the only thing you have it will work the butt section the thick butt section will sink slower so instead of using any kind of tapered leader I just use about six to eight feet of uh, 10 pound mono so I already have that on my line here and we're gonna show you how I rig this up. So on the end of my fly line, all I did was just make a perfection loop. Now you guys can look up how to do that, but it's just 10 pound mono. So I just made a perfection loop on the end of my 10 pound mono. And then I have, let's say, about six feet, yeah, six feet to the end here. And this is where it gets super interesting in what I'm gonna do. Instead of tying on extra tippet or potentially your first nymph, I got a couple swivels here and I'm gonna use those instead. So what I'm gonna do is just a simple clinch knot from the 10 pound mono onto the swivel. Two, three, four. Because it's 10 pound, you don't need to do too many wraps. And then we'll snip that tag end off. All right, so now we have fly line attached to a boat six to seven feet of 10 pound mono. Now this mono doesn't have a thick section so it will sink through the water quicker and get those nymphs to the area you need to be. The next thing we're gonna do is tie on some tippet. So I have some 4X tippet here with me today. Um, basically you choose the tippet depending on the size of the hook. All right, so I got four pound little piece of tippet and I'm gonna tie it onto the other section of the swivel. So there we have a little simple clinch knot again from the 10 pound mono to the swivel and then from the swivel to the tippet. So this I now have, you're gonna wanna go a bit further than uh, two and a half feet. So I'm gonna tie my first nymph on. Typically this first nymph is gonna be a larger one. Now uh, I am on the Bow River so I'm gonna go straight for the San Juan worm here. So I got a big San Juan worm here as you guys can see and we're gonna tie that on but we're gonna tie it on with a non-slip loop knot instead of the clinch knot. A clinch knot just holds the very eye of the hook and doesn't let it move around very often. So if we tie it on with a non-slip clinch knot it gives it a lot more movement in the water. So we make an overhand knot, but we don't pull it tight. We leave that little loop right there. We're gonna put the tag in through. We're gonna put it through that little opening. And I'm gonna pull it down and hold that loop. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna put it right back through. And as you guys can see here now, this hook is gonna dance around in the water a lot more and I'm gonna cut that tag end off. Recap, fly line, fly line, 10 pound mono. We got about six feet of that to our swivel, to our little swivel right there. So under our swivel, we have our first nymph. This is just a San Juan worm. I tied it with a non-slip loop knot here. Next, we're gonna tie another nymph on and I'm just going to tie this one to the bend of the hook. So this is going to be a clinch knot and I'm just going to tie that to the bend, a little loop knot there, clinch knot to the bend of the hook and then we're going to tie on our bottom one. Now this one can be a little bit smaller of a nymph. All right so now I'm just going to throw on a little something little small, little hairs ear on the bottom here and we'll tie that and we're going to tie that with a non-slip loop knot again as well. This just gives this is how I basically almost exclusively tie my flies on. It gives them much more movement in the water. And uh, honestly, I think I hook more fish because of it. 
And there we go. There's that little loop knot there too, and that thing's gonna just dance around the water column. Piper, come here. Stay here. All right, guys, so we got the majority of this rig set up. So to give you an idea here, we have the fly line. Instead of a leader, I have 10 pound mono with a perfection loop right there. Then I have about six to seven feet of that mono. This basically will sink through the water quicker. On the end of that, I have a swivel. I'm not tying on tippet and I'm not tying on any kind of split shots. This swivel will get it down what you need to. Then two or three feet past that, I have my first fly. San Juan worm, got a loop knot there so it can dance in the water column. I then tied it, clinch knot, to the bottom fly. Same sort of thing, non-slip loop so it can dance around. Now, this is where it gets really intense. We have basically the setup done, but if you wanted to go a step further and increase your chances even more, we're gonna throw on another tag. So I'm gonna get my 4X out again, but this time I'm only gonna take about a foot of it, not even. And this is where we get into it. So swivel, you got two hooks dangling. I'm gonna tie it to the bottom of that swivel so we have another tag, but this time only half the length of that tippet. All right guys, so I've tied on another clinch knot to the bottom of that swivel, if you can see there. One of, the, one of them has my San Juan rig, the other is just a tag end right now, as you can see. So halfway down, I'm gonna back up, halfway down between basically the swivel and your first fly, you're gonna tie on another tag fly right about here, we'll say. So I'll move back closer. I mentioned before, I'm, I'm on the Bow River, so tossing on another worm. Same sort of thing, guys, the non-slip loop. Again, tie your flies on with non-slip loops. All right, guys, and there we have it. The rig is done and ready to be plopped in. Now, you will want to put an indicator on this, but it basically attaches to that mono anywhere you can. And so to back up and give you a better idea of what we have here, we got the fly line attached to 10 pound mono with a little loop loop knot at the top handshake then we got six to seven feet to our swivel here now this swivel has two attachments one i have a tiny little tag and that's a worm and that's going to dance in the water column and no matter how much this gets tangled when it pulls tight because it's on a swivel it's going to pull straight and won't get tangled then from there i have another San Juan worm on the loop knot and then another two feet I have a little tiny fly on the bottom. Now you're going to want to put your indicator up high basically so those, those nymphs can dance along the bottom there and you got it. Basically my most deadly nymph rig possible. I hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you did please like it, subscribe to my channel and until next time guys, tight lines.